For the producers of the French TV series Untamed Asia, the forests of Thailand provided the backdrop for a remarkable encounter with a white-handed gibbon. Swinging from tree to tree at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour, gibbons are among the world's greatest acrobats. Their arms are, in fact, longer than their legs, enabling them to swing up to 50 feet at a time. Only rarely do they descend to the ground. But when they do, look out. In the clip, two tiger cubs are playing on the forest floor when they attract the attention of a gibbon with a flair for the dramatic. One of the real classic qualities of primates is they do, do spend a lot of time playing. And this is almost certainly a gibbon trying to play with another species. It was just what, what I love to see in nature. It was taunting, but in a jovial, joyful way. It was almost like, I'm going to taunt you, come play with me. In the wild, the tree-dwelling gibbons and land-based tigers rarely interact. So this encounter is most probably the first for all three of them. It's, like, it's, it's very comfortable to play with a domestic cat that you suspend, say, a lure over it and make it jump up to try to grab it. That, that's basically what's happening here. But the gibbon is just getting started. At one point, it even runs across the ground saying, ha ha, catch me if you can. And the tigers are bumbling. They are responding, uh, but they look kind of silly. For several minutes, the gibbon continues teasing the young tigers, apparently unaware of any potential danger. He wasn't making any sounds that he was nervous, scared. He was just bouncing around, having fun. If he hasn't actually experienced any tigers eating any of his friends or relatives out in the wild, and if gibbons and tigers hardly ever come in contact, it'd be unlikely that he would see the tiger and say, aha, this is a really nasty predator that could actually eat me if I try to play with it. I, mean, I always say when animals play, they are the play. This gibbon was the play. This gibbon was totally absorbed in what he was doing and just didn't seem to have a care about anything else in the world. For their part, the cubs go along with the fun. The tigers are having a great time. They're probably going, what is this guy doing? But they felt safe, too, because, you know, gibbons aren't going to prey on them. So it was, it was just beautiful symmetry, as I like to say, in animal behavior. Some might argue, however, that this interaction isn't all fun and games. There is an idea that play is practice. And maybe playing with tiger cubs is a way to practice interactions with predators. Because you want to make sure you're pretty good at it before you encounter that situation in a real way. Whatever its motivation, the gibbon eventually drives the tigers away. It's the end of a lively sequence that has rarely, if ever, been captured on tape. <laughs>